G'day guys and girls, how you going? It's your boy Jable1990 and welcome to Hump Day. It's Wednesday so we're doing a little bit of a rant video but this time I want to switch it up. I'm coming with you guys, coming at you guys with a little bit of Minecraft news. Um, I just wanted to talk about the 1.7 release. Uh, there is still not any release date um, set for this uh, new Minecraft update. But I just want to have a little chat about it because there's been quite a few things that have caught my eye and I just wanted to... Um, to have a chat to you guys about it while I just, you can see there's going to be some TNT run uh, gameplay just going on in the background while I talk about this stuff. So, um, the 1.7 release date is is very interesting to me. This is why I want to make a video on it and I wanted to make it just in case any of you guys haven't known about it yet or if there's anything that you guys may have missed or might want to know uh, for the future. So, the 1.7, like I said, release date has not been announced yet, but there has been quite a few... Um, key features announced that might still be speculation that may not be so uh, everything that I'm saying here for this update may or may not be true but this is what the information that I have found has been released so far and has caught my attention so the 1.7 release is being classified I believe or it will be classified as the biomes update or the biomes and ocean update because uh, Jeb uh, has tweeted quite a fair um, quite a fair few tweets about the biomes and stuff and how the main focus is on the biomes and he actually had a live stream to uh, talk about the biomes and, the, and that's one of the key focuses for the update so uh, the real general fixes that they're going to have for any of you guys who are interested in that are like lighting bugs they're going to be fixing stuff you know they've, they've been working on quite a few lighting bugs and um just really basic, uh, you know, tiny little bugs here and there. Uh, a, a brand new feature that they're implementing, which seems to be uh, quite reliable and would be awesome too, is they are changing a few um, key bindings and a few new key features. So what I mean by that is, I'll, I'll put a picture up on screen now. This was um, tweeted by Jeb. Uh, this image is about the... A new feature that um, allows you to create and bind um, screenshots together. So you have uh, not only just the what was it? Did it used to be like F2 for a screenshot? Now you get like um, you get to uh, bind all these things to different keys. So you got your screenshots, your cinematic view, your point of view, um, and which which is really interesting the sprint button has also changed you get to change all of these key features so by default um, the cinematic view is being changed instead of it being um, f8 it's going to be f4 which isn't really that big of a deal I don't use that anyway but for any of you trailer makers that might uh, interest you um, the sprint button is now going to be the left control so down in the very bottom left hand side of your keyboard, I believe that's for Mac as well, uh, that's going to be the new default sprint button, which I think is, <laughs> that that to me is in, incredibly interesting because it it's going to take a little bit of adjustment to in, in my opinion, but um, you can also change, you can always change it back to default. But from this image that I still have up on screen, you can see at the very, very top of the options, you can kind of just see it sprint by default is left control and uh, down the bottom there or towards the bottom you see that you have three different options to take screenshots to toggle cinematic camera or to the toggle the perspective so they're changing the way that you can uh, bind keys which isn't really a big update but it's pretty cool it's uh, it's pretty different so um, that's really I think the only thing they're doing with options so far uh, the way that it's the way that it's been perceived so let's go on to the get on to the interesting stuff which is world generation and biomes this is going to be absolutely crazy the possibilities that they have so uh, okay so there's a there's a, a mod called Biomes O Plenty. That's the mod, a Biomes O Plenty mod. You guys can um, go to Planet Minecraft or something and check that out. Mojang have been posting tweets about the Plenty O Biomes mod, um, suggesting the possibility of adding biomes to from f to the new update from that mod. So um, these are a few images that uh, Jeb has posted out. I'll just roll them through on screen through the different types of uh, of world generations. There's different types of biomes. There's going to be uh, one that's really interesting is the cherry uh, is the cherry tree one, which you can see right now. That's like a 
a new type, new type of tree which they might be implementing. They may or may not. Like I said, this is all speculation. But if this is true, then this can also add a new food type, a new color of uh, of wood, a new tree type, obviously, and also just look at the biomes. You can also see pink flowers and stuff there in in the um, in the biome. I do believe that, that screenshot though has been taken from the uh, from the mod. So uh, the other ones, like you can see these desert type clay, you know, really brown type of biomes these look absolutely amazing like the, they're kind of like a mix between like i don't know what to call it like uh extreme hills with uh, it's really desolate i really like it. it's got high cliffs with all this clay around it 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 seems like it would be very very interesting to add um and if this is the case that it means that they've bought in clay clay blocks to the surface unless they're making it a whole entire different material we're well, not really too sure but to me that looks like clay I don't know what it looks like to you guys but to me it looks like clay uh, they're also um, adding a few different tweaks to extreme hills biomes which you can see in this image right here but um, I do believe that this image was posted by Jeb about a bug uh, lighting a lighting bug fix that he's been working on which you can kind of see in the back of the train there where the shadows meet underneath the cliffs they've just been working on a little bit of um of lighting bug issues there so it looks extremely interesting so what we know uh so far that seems to be reliable but it's not 100 percent confirmed is that they've got just really general bugs and fixes which is what uh, uh mojang and their team are really good for uh, are notorious for when they make updates. The general stuff, which is um, the the key bindings, changing your views and adding cinematic, you know, the the controls for the sprints and all this kind of stuff. And the big smack mother daddy of the whole entire update is the world generation. This could just um, open up a whole new, different branch to Minecraft and. I think it would be really cool. I would like to know what you guys think of um, you know all this speculation so far. Uh, I'm is guaranteed for more news to come out uh, you know in a later date, which I will be covering that. You know I'll be covering certain stuff like release dates and anything that will be confirmed or not. And if any of you guys have any information that you guys would like to pass on to me, that you know everything I <laughs> have said in this video might be complete BS or something like that, then feel free to leave it down in the comment section down below. But I just thought I'd share this with you guys because. I'm excited for it. If this is true, um, there could be so many different possibilities they can create with biomes, and I don't know what you know. Even if they could create something like seasons, go through summer, winter, autumn, and spring, and that would be insane. But so far, this is all we've got. We 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 will be covering it, and we'll just continue it from there. So anyway, guys, I hope this uh, hope this interested you a little bit. And if it did, please leave a like. It does help me out a lot. And don't forget, leave me feedback. Um, talk to me. Let me know if there's anything that you would like to see or if there's any information that you might have on the new update. So thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. Don't forget, if you haven't subscribed already, subscribe. You do want to subscribe because I will be um, covering this, like I said, at a later date because it's exciting. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching and I shall see you guys next week.